And farmers from the West Kano Irrigation Scheme have called for the installation of a water outlet pump at the vast scheme in order to save their crop from being swept away by the ongoing flood. Speaking in Kisumu, the farmers decried the loss of 650 acres of rice after River Nyando broke its banks. And as Loro Tino now reports, the farmers are now calling on the newly appointed CEO to the National Irrigation Authority to prioritize issues of value addition and securing a favorable market for their produce. Following the weatherman's warning of enhanced rainfall in the Lake Victoria Basin, farmers from Nyanganda area in Nyando have called for intervention in order to save their crop. While acknowledging the efforts by the National Irrigation Authority to open up water canals that drain water from the rice farms, the farmers called for more sustainable solutions through the installation of a water outlet pump at the scheme. Concerning our outlet pump, which has been aging, uh, and again, uh, depositing the water within the scheme and from outside has been a challenge. And uh, the procurement should be enhanced during this time. And if possible, come next season, we should be having a new pump in place. There were some allocations that were given uh, by the president on uh, El Nino. In this region, what we lack most is the outlet pump. If the government can do that, we will be much grateful. While acknowledging the appointment of Charles Moasia as the CEO of the National Irrigation Authority, the farmers called for the setting up of a value addition chain to market their produce to wider markets. We may request the CEO, please, capacity build and with our, our cooperative members so that we may, they may search for the market for uh, the farmers. <laughs> And with the change of guard at the helm of the National Irrigation Authority, farmers at the West Kano Irrigation Scheme are hopeful that the reforms will trickle down and that the management will put in place the necessary infrastructure to enhance productivity of rice and other crops and ensure food security. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV, Kisumu.